We are taking Africa and its people to the world. Not just Africans on the continent, but both Africans on the continent and Africans out of the continent. I mean, the African diaspora. Don't say that I'm talking about only people who recognize themselves like I'm a Nigerian, I'm a Ghanaian. I'm talking about the Caribbean, the African American. If you are black out there, know that you are from the continent. And this is why your boy, Mr. Maya, is here to tell you that the continent is ready for you. All you need to do is to take a step. I am here with a very bold, young, beautiful lady who made a very huge step and I don't know her name right now, but I'm going to ask her what's her name. And she's going to tell you why she moved to the continent. Hi. Hi. Can I shake your hands? I would love to hug you, but you know, people out there, they don't want to see me hugging in 2019. Anyway, my name is Maya. What's your name? Hi, my name is Jojo. Your name is Jojo. Yes. Jojo. Yes. You're looking fresh and beautiful. Thank you. Were you born in Nigeria? No, I was born in the UK. Born in the UK. Yes. yes. How long have you been in Nigeria? Um, just over two years now. Two years. Your mom is a Nigerian, and you are telling me that you've been in Nigeria for just two years. Mm -hmm. How come? Where were um, you born? I was born in the UK. Oh, okay. I spent like ninety-nine percent of my education was in the UK. Um, then I moved to Nigeria two years ago. Which part of the UK were you living? Uh, so I grew up in a small city called Wilson Keynes and then moved to London for uni. Wow. And what are you doing on the continent? What are you doing in Nigeria? Um, so currently I'm the head of corporate communications at Echo Atlantic. I also have a little YouTube channel and a little bit of this, a little bit oh, of that. Oh wow. <laughs> she also has a YouTube channel. I don't even know about that. What was the name of your YouTube channel? Uh, Jojo Lara. Jojo? Lara. You know what you need to do? <laughs> go check it out, but don't, don't go further. You know how we're doing. Just go subscribe, leave a comment, and just leave. <laughs> I am Maya. You are in Nigeria. Yes. What is the experience so far in Nigeria? Um, it's been mixed. Um, good days, bad days. Um, it's a sacrifice moving to a different country. It's a sacrifice moving to a different country. Yeah. First of all, what brought you to Nigeria? Um, so basically, Moving back to Nigeria is something since I was very young, I always had in the back of my head, which is weird, but I grew up watching a lot of Nollywood, so in the back of my mind I always felt like I belonged in a yeah, Nollywood you, movie. You, you, you wanted to be the next Rita Dominic? Or? Yeah, exactly, or the next Genevieve. I mean, I love Rita, but like, let's say the next Genevieve, because I love Genevieve. <laughs> So, wow. exactly, so I grew up watching that and that was always in the back of my head but then obviously as I got older I went to uni I didn't really think I was going to move back to Nigeria until I actually graduated and started having job offers and I was like, I cannot keep living like this, I'm tired the cost of living in London was so expensive um, I did an internship um, at one of like the best companies in my field to work in and I looked at the person who was like 10 years in and it was like a look into my own future and it just wasn't it wasn't what I wanted to be whereas like looking at my uncles and my friends and my cousins who are back home starting businesses obviously going through their own struggles but it was different and I felt like that was where I wanted to be and that was the best time to do it. That was the best time to do it. Comparing life in Lagos, you live in Lagos, huh? Yes, I live in Lagos. Comparing life in Lagos and the city you're living in, uh, in London, yeah. uh, sorry, in UK, yeah. what would you say in terms of cost of living, comparing both of them, is it worth to live in Lagos? Um, in, terms of, in terms of cost of living, it's actually a lot similar than you would think in terms of your rent. Although in Nigeria you have to pay your rent a year in advance, so it's a lump sum rather than spreading it out across the... But if you're trying to live a similar standard as what you lived in the UK, don't think you're going to come to Nigeria and your rent is going to be like much cheaper because rent in Nigeria is also very expensive. Yeah. Um, in terms of transport, it's way cheaper. In London I was spending a ridiculous... I didn't even drive in London, I drive here. But I was spending a ridiculous oh. amount on even just public transport, Food is about the same. Obviously, if you're trying to eat the same standard, it's more expensive. But you have to cut your cloth. Yeah. <laughs> it's your size. You can't eat it. Oh, yeah. in 
London. You've been in Nigeria for two years. Would you say Nigeria is, is a safe place to live? Yes, I would say Nigeria is a safe place to live. I, I would say everywhere has its challenges Good. all over the world. Um, I'm not trying to like turn a blind eye to the problems that we have in Nigeria. Of course, we have a lot of security challenges in Nigeria. But one story I always used to tell people was that before I moved to Nigeria, I came for a holiday. Okay. I spent uh, like three weeks in Nigeria. Yeah. Nothing happened to me. I went back to London and I was robbed in Canary Wharf. Someone pulled out a knife and robbed me. In Canary Wharf, which is actually like prime location in London. So, no, what is thank your time? you so much. T thank you so much. <laughs> you know, this is what I really wanted to hear. I keep on telling you that in every country you go to, there is positive and negative. negative. But they keep on sharing the negative side of Africa. And everybody says that when you go to Nigeria, they're going to kidnap you. You know, like when I was coming to Nigeria, like, I had like almost more than 20 emails, people telling me that you're going to get kidnapped. Mm -hmm. I was even scared of coming. Yeah. But I keep on telling you, go out there, go live your life, and go learn something new. Can you tell us a little bit about the negative life here in Nigeria? Um, I, I would say one of the things I've had to deal with a lot in Nigeria would be sexism. Um, when you move back to Nigeria, it's kind of like you go back 20 years in terms of where people are with how they view women. So something as simple as renting an apartment, you start being asked questions, so, you know, in a different way than if you were a man. And also even in the working environment, not all the time, I'm lucky to work in a company that it's not something I face on a day-to-day -day basis. Oh. But still, being in Nigeria, you deal with a lot of people that are like, oh, woman, what do you know? Oh. Move away and stuff like that. So, in terms of sexism, that's one thing, which is like coming from the UK is like a shock. Because in the UK, no nonsense. No like nonsense. There's no tolerance for that. So I would say like sexism is something you have to deal with, just the general mentality of women being second yeah. class. And so um, um, the positive side of living in Nigeria? Um, the positive side, I mean, the, there's a great social environment. I mean, if you want to be social and go out, there's always events, there's always, and it's not always about party, 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 okay. or clubbing, even just like business events. Um, you know, like they do this thing called Meta de Moda where loads of up, upcoming brands come and sell their stuff, but they do food, they do music. Yeah. So Nigeria is a place where like, literally Monday to Friday, there's always something, there's always some kind of brand doing something, which is really fun, especially in the age that we're in now, with social yeah. influencing and, young people using social media to sell their brands so it's great to i know a lot of people out there who want to be like you who want to take a step mm -hmm. what is the advice that you're going to tell anybody out there who's looking forward to take a bold step just like you um i would say to anyone looking to move back to whether it's nigeria or ghana or wherever you're from to have a plan and not just a rough like wishy-washy i'll do maybe i'll do this maybe i'll do that the more solid your plan is the better it will be for you when you move because it's not easy it's not easy sorry it's actually mentally challenging coming from somewhere that you're so used to to a place mm -hmm. that even if you did grow up i went to school here a mm -hmm. little bit when i was younger but it's completely different as an adult it's actually a very you learn a lot from the process, but if you're not doing it for the right reasons, it can actually break you. And a lot of people have moved back and run back to where they came from. You, you are, you are in Nigeria. Let's talk about your experience in Nigeria. Yeah. Do people in here see you as a foreigner or they see you as a Nigerian? It, it depends where I go. It depends where I go and it depends how much people get to know me. So I think people that get to know me do not see me as a foreigner. Like, <laughs> Once they see me eat Amala and speak with them freely and just be my true self. I've always grown up in an African environment, okay. whether it was in the UK or whether it's actually now being here in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of times you are judged just based solely on your yeah, appearance or your accent. Mm -hmm. But I have about a thousand accents in here. So it's, it's just change, you change. It's just whatever wow. you get. Oh, you change to fit in. Yeah, that's amazing. amazing. Is that a Nigerian man or a Ghanaian man? Ghanaian jollof, Nigerian jollof. Um, since you live in Nigeria now, we should expect Togolese 
maybe. <laughs> Uh, if there's any jello, it would just definitely be Nigerian jello. Hey, all one Nigerian. That's all I'm saying. All Nigerian jello. Nigerian jello all the way. Nigerian jello. At this, at this very moment. moment. I know most of you don't understand what I'm saying, but it's okay. <laughs> so I've already decided. What's your favorite Nigerian food? Amara. Amara. I'm, uh, I'm glad I, you didn't say Nigerian jello. Yeah. It's your boy, Mr. Ghana, baby. <laughs> and I hope you guys enjoyed this amazing episode with the beautiful Jojo. Jojo, tell them to subscribe to your YouTube channel. Hi guys, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's Jojo Lara and you can find me on Instagram again, Jojo Lara, but with two zeros. Wow. <laughs> Keep it low. It's your boy, Mr. Mai. Today I got a, a very beautiful studio. You know who is behind it, right? The man himself. <laughs> He's so professional. Me, I'll just use my one or two camera and I'm done. Okay, I'm going to see you in the next episode.